see if we go live here. There we go. All right. Test, test, test. All right. Let's see. Thank you guys for tuning in. We're testing a few things out tonight, man. Got a little new software. Got a new camera. <clears throat> Trying to make sure I got this working right. So y'all bear with me for a minute, and I promise we'll get into something fun here in just a minute. Hope everybody's having a great Thanksgiving. I'm trying to, I guess at this point I realize my hair looks like hell, but we can make it work. <laughs> <laughs> let's see check one thing here i'm just curious i'm trying to make sure i can do a screen share thing the biggest thing is i want to be able to show you guys what i'm looking at on here it makes this so much easier if y'all can see what i can see It does not appear that that is the case, no matter how hard I try. Let's try something different here real quick. So it shows on the screen. We got two screens here. All right. There we go. There we go. Pulling up two screens. Finally. Y'all bear with me. This is trial and error. There was no other way to do this without you guys on live with us, apparently. So it looks like when you pull up a second screen there, it's only going to show you the freeze frame until I figure out a little bit more. All right. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Look, y'all joined in on a uh, Thanksgiving night with us, man. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. We're tinkering with some new toys here. So we're going to see how, see what we can make work. So I've been messing with some numbers the last few days, and I call it the 17 pillars of how to save Jackson, well, I, without actually having to do anything to save Jackson, if you will just do these few things and not do these few things, you too can save Jackson without actually having to do anything to save Jackson. It's crazy how that works sometimes, just, just being a normal good citizen. I'm going to run through those right now. I'm not going to keep y'all long. This is going to take about five minutes. And we're going to. Save Jackson in 17 easy steps. We call it the pillars of saving South Jackson. Step one, love Jesus and go to church. That's pretty self-explanatory, right? Step two, finish high school or at least get your GED and go to a vocational school and get some kind of training. Step three, no babies out of wedlock. And if so, or even in wedlock, wait till you're at least 25 years old. Trust me on this from personal experience. You will be better served holding out. But that does not mean if you get pregnant, go have an abortion. Figure it out. But avoid that at all cost. Number four, avoid going to clubs. You'll thank me for it later. I spent 15 years in the club business. And if I could take every second of it back, I would. I really would. No knock on my friends in the bar business. By all means, love what y'all do. But I'm just saying, talking to a 16, 17, 18 year old right now, don't do it. All right. Number five, don't do drugs. Don't buy drugs. Don't sell drugs. This should be, this should be, if it wasn't for Jesus and church, this should be number one. Pretty, pretty self explanatory. Avoid drugs at all costs. Number seven, no, I'm sorry, number six, 
don't rob, steal, or kill. Again, pretty self-explanatory. If you rob, steal, or kill, you are gravely affecting somebody's ability to live to help save Jackson another day. You're potentially leaving a family without a father or whatever the case may be, a mother without a son. You know, we need our men in our community. We don't need we don't need ourselves out killing each other. All right, number seven. If you're just tuning in, this is Clay's 17 pillars to save South Jackson without, without actually having to do shit to save South Jackson. Number eight, I'm sorry, number seven. If you know college isn't for you, learn a trade, become a mechanic, an electrician, a plumber, a body shop guy, automotive sales person, a computer person. There's so many other hands-on trades right now even people that paint houses and stuff of that nature that you don't have to go to college for. You can jump in, you can learn it from an apprentice level and be making six figures. I know at the dealerships I've worked at over the last couple of years, if you can work on a a transmission, you could possibly be the highest paid person in that dealership only behind the general manager and the owner. So keep that in mind. If you can work on a transmission and diesel motors and stuff like that, you, my friend, are very valuable. So just, just a little heads up there. We're always hiring mechanics. Number eight, respect law enforcement. Learn how to act when you get pulled over by the police so you can get home alive. No more fighting with the cops. No more, uh, but I ain't do nothing. Just live to fight another day. A bond is cheaper than a funeral. You'd rather you'd rather get a mug shot than become a hashtag. I promise. Live to fight another day. Just get, bite your tongue. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, sir. No, ma'am. Keep it simple. Get out of there. Number nine, stay out of the system. Don't ever get in the system. And this is going to go back to number eight. Get a... Uh, Get your driver's license and keep it maintained. Keep your car tag good on your car. This will alleviate about 90% of the BS coming at you in your life. Also, you know, if you smoke weed, don't smoke weed in your car. I mean, these are common sense sayings. I shouldn't even have to tell you. It's still against the law here to do it recreationally. The police can still mess with you for doing it. So why would you do it? It's, it's still against the law. If they mess them with you, that's why. Anyway, man, get your driver's license. Make a huge difference. They get you trapped in the system. Fine after fine after fine after probation after fine after fine after probation after fine. It's exhausting. You can avoid that by getting your driver's license. All right, let's see. Number 10. If you're young, get you a part-time job. Part-time jobs look so good on your resume as you get a little older. Um, McDonald's, Chick-fil-A. Places like that, if you can go there and you can work there for about a year and um, stick with it and get a good reference, you can get just about any job in this city that you want that does not require a college diploma, college degree. I've, I've hired, I was the hiring HR person for one of the largest dealerships in the state of Mississippi for four years. And if you maintain steady employment at a fast food restaurant, we just knew that we could, you, you, it meant you could learn and you were flexible and we could teach you and find a spot for you, you know? So keep that in mind if you're 17, 18, go work like, go work somewhere like that till you're about 21 and then jump off into another line of work. It, it'll do you a lot of good. It teaches you teamwork, accountability, all that stuff that you always hear everybody talking about. All right. Number 11 of the 17 pillars of how to save Jackson without actually having to do anything except the stuff you should already already be doing. Don't mess up your credit, buying stuff to impress people that you don't like or that don't like you. I cannot emphasize this enough. If you have any questions about how to build credit, rebuild credit or maintain credit, contact me directly. This is what I do for a living professionally. I would love to help you out or help your kids out. If you ever want to bring them by the dealership one day and just talk to me and let me talk to them with you in the room, if you got younger kids, I will absolutely take the time out of my day 
to talk to your kids about that kind of stuff. Um, with school not in, it could be a great opportunity for your kids to learn something. Let's see. Number 12, see something, say something. It could save you or your family's life. So what you're asking is, Clay, are you saying to be a snitch? I am. I am saying be a snitch. It could save your life. It could save your neighbor's life. You just never know. Never know. You, you, you'd be deemed a damn hero around Jackson saving, you know, actually snitching and saving somebody's life. They may put a, they may replace that, uh, that, that Andrew Jackson statue with a statue of you. Yeah. If you snitch and save somebody's life around here in the next year or so. All right. Moving forward. These are two little easy things here. Number 13 and 14. These are all things that we should be doing no matter what. And I see y'all's questions and I'm going to get back to them before I get off here. So just keep on coming. Uh, number 13, just volunteer. Volunteer to do stuff. Look, we're not all like, mate, we're not all built to get out and do work in the field. But there's plenty of stuff you can volunteer to do. Volunteer to start a social media fundraiser. Volunteer to help get people together. Well, you know, just whatever it is, volunteer. You'll find something, find what your heart desires that you're interested in, and make it happen. Really clean, I mean, really simple. Number 14, don't litter. Pick up litter when you see it. Put your grocery cart back when you take your groceries out to your car. These are little things that make your community look a million times better. You know, there's a lot of folks that, uh, let's just say older folks, they, they pull up to the grocery store. There's a grocery cart in the parking place that's a little closer. Well, man, they may not feel safe or healthy enough to get out, to get out and have to move that cart. So they just go on down the road to another store. That's lost tax money. And it looks like crap and it's irresponsible and there's no reason not to do it. It takes two extra, it takes an extra minute out of your night to push the cart somewhere at the most. Put it up. All right, let's see here. These last three are kind of a toss up. So take them in any order you want. Number six, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to skip here. This was 16. I'm going to call it 15. Get you some friends with different backgrounds than yourself. I say this all the time. Um, If you're white, get you some black friends. Get you some other minority friends. If you're, if you're a minority of some sort, get you some white friends. Learn that, especially if they have different political upbringings than you they're conservative or liberal and you're liberal or they're conservative, whatever the, the, the mixture is, it will get you so much further in life than anything else you can do is learning to be socially acceptable of what other people's thoughts and beliefs are. So when you have different thoughts and beliefs or they end up with different thoughts and beliefs, they know you're not the bad guy. They're like, Oh, you know that I got that white friend, you know, that's a conservative, but you know, he's really a nice guy. He's an asshole, but he's a nice guy and, uh, or vice versa. You know, it goes a long way. I talk about this all the time. So y'all keep that in mind. And number 17, which is actually going to be number 16 here. Be kind. What's the worst that can actually happen? Just being nice. Just just don't be a dick to people. You know, somebody steps on your shoes, man, you know, just like, oh, bro, I'm sorry. No big deal. My bad. Push on, you know. That's the worst that can happen. Open a door for somebody back up for 10 seconds and let somebody back out of their parking place before you start honking the horn. Just normal day in, day out stuff. Don't drive in the fast lane. Don't cut people off. Quit running red lights. Quit doing stupid stuff. Last but not least, this is a very important one here. This is where I'm going to upset some of y'all. Quit voting for the same idiots over and over and over Expecting a different result. That is the definition of insanity. That is that never that never plays out in your favor. If you have a politician out here running on, uh, we're going to get you a bunch of free stuff, or they're, or they're playing the race card, man, they're, they're not the one. It ain't going to work. They've been playing that race card for 30, 25 years in Jackson. Now they're just playing it against themselves. And you see what's happened with Jackson. Time, time to move on. Look at look at what's going on on city council. The fools ain't done nothing. Time to move on. Let's get some young blood in there. So, hey, 
So that is my 17 pillars of how to save Jackson without, without actually having to do anything. I wanted to slide that in. I was bored playing with this new setup. We actually got some more lights and stuff, but this was more of a technical thing. So y'all bear with me. Let me know if y'all can see it in other places. I'm going to go check YouTube and all that. But that's it. Let me read the y'all's comments real quick. Let's see. Oh, yeah. We can do this, too. We can pull up. We can highlight comments. Danny said, this better be good. I stopped my interrogation studies to be here. Um. Madison Dixon, choose your friends wisely. Absolutely. Tanya, I'm a little, I'm a little bit of everything. Uh, touche, touche. That part. Mm -hmm. Madison says we need to vote different. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Local, local libertarian here and point 17 should be point number one. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. L is it Laz? Am I saying that right? Laz Austin? Um, Christopher, stop. I'm not going to read that. Stop selling the P. A lot of people got their, a lot of people got their only fans pages. They got to take care of. So, uh, teach their own there. All right. Look, we played with this, man. This was fun. Look, I just want to jump on for a minute. I hope y'all see the show's getting ready to go a new direction. I've got some new toys. It should make it a lot more interesting, especially when I figure out how to tie in these, uh, these news stories here on the other side of the screen and kind of show y'all what I'm looking at. It's going to be a game changer. I hope to have that ready by Monday night maybe sooner if I can get my IT guy to get by here and help me out a little bit. I now have the ability to do phone in interviews and or online interviews without people actually having to come to the house. So it's going to be a win-win. Yeah, Danny, I'm, I'm going to tweak a few things, man. Um, we get the camera moved out, get the bright lights kind of cut up some kind of, get rid of the shadows. I might move the the microphone around a little bit where it's not right in my face, but I also got the lamp here that's kind of in the way, but we'll, we'll get all that figured out. This was more of just a technical thing than it was anything. And Hey, you busted my balls a little yesterday. Tell me I hadn't been going live long enough, uh, enough lately. So I wanted to make sure I went live. I want to make sure I give a shout out to my sponsors, USA pawn, the gym at Byron, and of course, father and son, Southern lawn care professionals. So I'll go back and tag all of them in this. And uh, y'all look, y'all have a blessed, blessed evening. Have a blessed Black Friday weekend. If you're an Egg Bowl fan, um, hell state and go to hell Ole Miss. I had to slide that in. I've been so nice all year about football. All right, look, y'all take care. Peace out.